Morning guys, MC Procrastinator here for another video. This is not a two minute video. I think this is probably gonna take a little bit longer. And this is really a kind of, um, I wanna cover a couple of things off here. One which is new bar end mirrors I, I purchased off of eBay, which by the way, they look pretty cool. Okay, so you can just imagine that going on the end there, it's gonna look pretty top notch. I stuck an image where I did put that on. Um, and look, that's actually why one of the reasons uh, why I want to make this video is because there's a couple of things to cover off, right? So one, there's an update with regards to uh, my gear. Um, if you see the two minute video, you'll see that I was looking about buy well, by leather gear. And number two is I bought these mirrors, which I was really excited about getting. And um, unfortunately, I got a little problem with installing them. And then number three, oh, the cost of owning a great sports bike is tires. Um, so I'll put that in perspective and I'll come to that is I need to get new tires, but I'll also cover off, you know, how long I've had them for, etc., etc., and how useful that's been or how good the tires have been. So let's start off with topic number one. Actually, there's one more caveat in that. And there's also the um, valve clearances check, which is due up. Um, 40,000 Ks. So look, let's cover these things off on topic. Right, so let's talk about problem number one. So, mirrors. Um, they look really good, as you can see, you can get a sort of basic justification for how they look. Let's just show you how this is constructed together. You can see that I'm using the other camera as well. So basically, as you know, a bar end just kind of flits on there, screws in there. This also unscrews. So this unscrews out here, and effectively what would happen is then this piece here, would actually fit inside there. Now, you're probably gonna go, oh mate, before you start, the reason it's not gonna fit is because you need to unscrew that, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna tell you now that piece doesn't fit, okay? I've taken it out and it will not fit in there. It's just too big, okay? Which does create a little bit of a problem because that five minute job, um, so by the way, if you ever started a five minute job, this should be five minutes and turns out to like an hour, let me know. But this five minute job now, unfortunately, is turned into a bit of a monumental mission because I don't have the parts to make it work. I did manage to do a mockery of putting it together where I used the bolt from the bar end screw, again, look at the pictures, and I uh, put that through and managed to attach it, but then I'm left with this big ugly nut, and I don't want that. So, yeah, um, I basically, I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone, which brings me to the tire. I'm gonna get that local dealer just to see if they've got some parts to put this together. I'm sure they have this problem all the time. So, yes, that's problem number two. It's not really a problem, it's just a normal maintenance thing on a bike, okay? So, this bike here, um, and by the way, I'm probably gonna do a review uh, in the next, I might do it today, I might do it tomorrow, but either way, I'll come out in the next couple of video releases. How I feel with regards to this bike, you know, what sort of things have I picked up on the last three months since of ownership? Yeah, so that, you know, with regards to the tire, one of the things that I want to um, sort of be aware of, or everybody be aware of, I bought that, I didn't buy this bike new. So these weren't a new set of tires on here, they were about third warm. But I have definitely chewed through them quite quickly. So let's just give you a look on that. So you can see now, I'm pretty much down on the market here. I might have, I might have another mill left if I'm lucky. But to be fair, I've um, opted for the, I really need to get them changed aspect. See that one's pretty good. It's almost, it's quite strange. It's almost like a, uneven wear here so um, I might even when I go into the dealer tomorrow ask him how many K's I've got left on it and I might say all right I'll pay for the tire and I'll come and get it fitted another time just keep it in stock for me because I want to try and make sure I get as many K's out of as I can and, and, and the front is not there the front's probably got another mil and a half compared to the back there so I don't need to think about that for the moment so yeah, but um, in reflection, just remember that I had this bike for pretty much coming up four months now. I bought it with 36,000 Ks on it and the tires on it had about, I know, somewhere between a third and a half left on them. I can't quite remember now, but they had reasonable tread left on them. So I've done four, just over 4,000 Ks now. And yeah, and to be fair guys, you know, like I don't churn this bike up um, a lot on the road, you know, like I, I use it for commuting, I join, yeah, I have a bit of an open up now and again, but you know, I'm not really super aggressive on the bike. so. I, I would expect that if I buy a, a new set of tires that I'm going to get quite a long wear at them because I'm, I'm pretty easy going on it. One of the other things I did from, which I was able to do in my own perspective, maintenance on the chain. So this is actually a new chain. I was fortunate that when um, this went in with the, the coolant issue going back when I first had it, maybe about four weeks into it, and they replaced some pipes, they gave me a new chain because the old one was pretty messed up. So I cleaned this and I put like this uh, white gunk on it basically which is um, lubrication it sort of sticks to the chain to stop all the gunk getting off i kind of hate it because it makes the chain look dirty but um yeah i mean at the end of the day i suppose 
it's nice having a lovely looking chain, but you, you, you want to get the, the longevity out of it, right? Which is quite important. And of course, not just the chain, but the sprockets as well from that. And then of course, the last caveat and all these things that have been going on at the minute is um, one of the other things, because I've hit 40,000 Ks, I'm gonna have to consider getting a valve um, clearances check. Now, on the Aprilia's, it's every 20,000 Ks, and it was done about 20, 20 25,000 Ks uh, by the previous owner. So the dealer said I've got somewhere around about 5,000 Ks to play with, but I need to start thinking about it. And it's quite a, it's quite a big one. Um, now, the thing is, it's just, it's, it's checking the clearances are okay. So, you know, it could be a hit or miss whether or not they need done. Um, my problem is I'm pretty confident. I've looked at Sean Nielsen's video. If you've not had a look at Sean Nielsen, and uh, check him out. He does a re well, actually he does a couple of things. One, he does um, sort of uh, rider training on the track, but two, He's really knowledgeable from a mechanic perspective for working on the V4s. So it's kind of like what he lives and breathes and works on. So he's got a uh, video part one, part two, where you strip the bike down, um, right down to checking the clearances, give you some really good tips. And I'm pretty confident I could strip the bike down. I'm pretty confident I, if I go out and buy the right tools, I'll be able to check the valve clearances. What I'm not so confident about is if I have to make changes to those clearances. I'm, I'm a little bit more I don't really want to do that and of course then by the time you strip it down, get to the parts, check the size and find out you need to make adjustments, it sort of makes it a bit counterproductive, it's probably easier to pay the money, get it done right in the first place and get it done to the dealer. So yeah, that's probably the dilemma there. So um, one of the other things that this is going to lead on to is I think probably now is a good time to um, do a video which is, I wouldn't say a long term review but it's uh, quite a thorough review, you know like I put 4000 Ks on this in quite a short space of time. You know, what are the problems, what are the maintenance, what are the things I see coming up, you know, how have I found the bike, have I enjoyed it, what's my thoughts, how, have I, how, have, how has my thoughts changed over time since owning on the bike, have they improved, have they not, and I'm not going to tell you how that is now because, um, you know, that'd be ruining the video. So, yeah, a couple of more things to come up, and obviously, if you haven't seen the two-minute videos that I've been doing as part of the two-minute series, feel free to check them out, and, uh, you know, I'll keep the content coming there, and for now, MC Procrastinator out.